Number one, when you still have a lot in common. Relationships may not go smoothly at all times, and sometimes you may feel that there is no point being in the relationship. However, you need to understand that no relationship is perfect, and it takes time and effort to make it to be the way you want it to be. And if God is the foundation of your relationship, you will know if He wants you to back out or not let go of each other. One of the signs that God does not want you to let go of each other is when you still have a lot in common despite your issues in the relationship. The Bible says, can two walk together unless they agree? No. But in a situation where you agree on a lot of things, it is not wise that you just give up easily on each other. God wants you to be with someone with whom you have similar goals and you both see life in a particular perspective. Someone that is on the same page with you. Misunderstandings are bound to happen, but when your point of agreement is more than your point of disagreement, you need to really think on the reason why you want to let go. This is why before you decide to let go, it is important that you seek the face of God in prayer because it will be unfair that after you have broken up, then you realize that you have made a mistake and you want in on the relationship again. Having someone that you share a lot in common is a good sign that you may be meant for each other. God will want you to be with someone when you have a lot in common with in your belief, values, and long-term goals. Number two, when you complete each other. If you are in a relationship that you complete each other spiritually, financially, morally, and otherwise, know that it is unwise to back out of that relationship. God's will for your life are for good and not of evil. He knows what is best for you, and He does not want you to make costly mistakes that you will regret. Conflict is bound to happen, but do not throw everything away because you are angry. You have to understand that any decisions you take when you are angry or when your mind is not in one piece may not be a good decision. When you are with someone that inspires you, that supports you, and always wants to see the best in you, you have to know that it is the will of God, and when you decide to throw it all away, know that God is not in support of it. You need to understand that when you want to let go of someone that completes you because of an issue, you should know that your next relationship will not be free of little disagreements. You need to learn to forgive because that is what Christ wants from you. Your partner may have offended you so bad that you may be thinking that you cannot love them again. But you need to keep your emotions aside and think critically what you really want. God loves you and He wants the best for you. So many people make a mistake of throwing away their future because of a present problem and that is not wise. You need to learn to forgive and move on. It may not be easy but understand that some relationships are worth fighting for for especially when you complete, support, and complement each other. That is the kind of relationship that God wants you to hold on to, and if you want to do otherwise, know that God is not in support of it. Number three, when you still love each other. Love is a strong determining factor that holds a relationship, and God wants you to be with someone you love, and it is not His will for you to let go of someone you are still in love with. God is a typical example of love. The Bible says that for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son because of the love that He has for us. No matter what we do, He still forgives us and we still hurt Him times without number. But He loves us still. Inasmuch as we come back to seek for forgiveness, He is faithful and just to forgive us. That is the example God has given you to follow. He wants you to forgive. Being with someone from a different background and ideology, you may have conflict in some areas, but when you still love that person, you have to adjust certain things in your life to accommodate that person. If you know you will both be unhappy if you let go, there is no point of letting go of each other. Funny enough, it is pride that sometimes make people do things that they end up regretting. You still love someone but you pretend that you no longer do because of some reasons best known to you. You know you still love him or her but you do not want to admit it 
you may end up regretting it. Do not break up your relationship over flimsy reasons. Number 4. When you respect each other's decisions. Every relationship has its good and bad times, but when you are thinking of letting go, you have to carefully think of the positive and negative side of the relationship. Which decision makes more sense? Breakup or makeup? When you realize that the positive side of the relationship is more than the negative side, you may want to rethink your decision of letting go. It is very important that you put God first in life in everything you do. The problem is that so many people do not involve God in their relationship, and in such situations, it will be difficult to know what His will is for your relationship. When you are in a relationship with someone that respects you, someone that values your opinion, and equally respects your decision, you should not just let go of them easily. Respect is a key factor in a successful relationship, and you would not want to just throw that away. The truth is, someone that respects your decisions is good for you, and God will not want you to let go of such a person. Finding someone that values you and your opinion is not easy because we live in a generation where people are selfish and only want their say to be final. So when you're privileged to have such people in your life, you need to be careful not to lose them. Everything will not always go the way you want it to go in your relationship. There might be challenges here and there, but learn to keep those ones that love you and respect you. Number 5. You are open to yourselves. When you are in a relationship with someone you are open to, you do not have to pretend to be who you are not when they are around and you do not hide anything from each other. God wants you to be with your soulmate and a soulmate is someone that loves everything about you. Even those weird things you do, they find it amusing. Someone that you are comfortable telling anything. Someone who does not judge you. Someone you can be vulnerable in their presence. Do not let them go. The fact that a person is your soulmate does not mean you will never have a misunderstanding. You need to open your heart to know that things may not really go as planned, and when you have this in mind, you will create a space in your heart to always forgive your partner when he or she offends you. Creating a space for forgiveness in your heart is very good, because a disagreement in your relationship will not take you unaware. However, this may not be possible without the help of God. That is why you need to commit everything into the hands of God. He is the only one that can heal your heart and give you the strength to still continue. The reason why there are so many divorce and heartbreak in our society is because people no longer involve God in their relationship. They feel they can handle it themselves. God wants the best for you in your relationship.